Look at Comet's puzzle. That's a painting I bought. Look at Comet's puzzle. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Um, hi. <laughs> I'm gonna check the air on this guy here. I was recently given this bicycle by a really friendly customer who uh, I talk to all the time at my work. He's super chill, and we talk about bikes and hiking and all. We talk a lot about different stuff, but specifically, I was telling him how I wanted to get back into cycling, and he said, "Hey, let uh, let's see you about Monday. Maybe I can bring you something that you might like or be interested in." I was like, "Well, okay," and it's so cool because it's a road bike which is what I use to ride all the time. I'm a road bike girly. And it's been a few years since we rode. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a shot. It's been a long time. I used to ride a lot. I, used, I was really good at it. And so we're gonna get to it again. I've already put on some stickers here. Um, it needs a name still. So if you can think of a fun name for my bike, <laughs> let me know. We're gonna give it a shot, let's go. So it's been a very long time. <laughs> so far, it makes a squeak, I think, in the back wheel. Only when I'm sitting on it. And only when the tires, tires rotate. But not like when I'm not on the bike. I don't know. So far, even though it's been like forever, I think I'm gonna ride this to work tomorrow. And I think my work's about 10 miles away. It feels good. <laughs> this feels really good. Look at this thing. You're clowning. It is the uh, third day of June, which is Pride Month, which for me, this, this time around, marks my third month on estrogen. This is the actual day. I just took my last pill this morning. I have to get my resub, uh, my new subscription, Refill, I think, right? Refill? It's my first time taking any sort of medication. So, here I am. <laughs> Three months, running around, new bike, semi-new. I cleaned it up pretty good. It was, it was pretty messy, but tuned it up too. We hit a milestone, is, is what I mostly mean to say, is that I didn't think I was gonna get this far. I didn't think I was gonna feel this alive ever in my life, and I feel so alive and, and happy that I have access to the gender affirming care and that I'm starting it when I am. It's also, it's never too late to start <laughs> hormone replacement therapy if that's something you want to do. I've had people comment on some of my videos that they think it's too late for themselves to start and it's not. I'm, I'm 27. I'm well past my natural, my natural puberty. And I feel great. I feel alive. It's really bright facing this way. I'm gonna put in some headphones and ride around a little more. Maybe we'll talk, maybe I'll film a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Hold me close and hold me fast. This magic spell you cast. This is love beyond When you kiss me, heaven sighs. And though I close my eyes, I see lovey on rose. When you press me to your heart, I'm in a world apart, a world where roses bloom. And when you speak, angels sing from above. <laughs> I've kind of had things kind of go wrong today. I was gonna draw a map, and then I didn't like the way it turned out. That was gonna be a video. Uh, it'll be a video later, but I hated the way it turned out, so I stopped, I got rid of it. Decided, you know what, bike vlog. And here we are, bike vlogging. Walking. Primarily with taking estrogen, I knew there was gonna be some physical, mental, and emotional changes. I was aware of that. <laughs> I'm excited for it. Still excited for what can come. 
and what may happen down the line. But like I said, we're about three months in, which <laughs> is a milestone because I'm gonna be checking with my doctor later to see uh, where my hormonal levels are at and everything. That's gonna be fun to get evaluated. <laughs> Some things that I've noticed so far though, uh, at this three month part, some boobage, some boobage. I think I've talked about the physical changes on YouTube yet, so this is perfect, yeah. Uh, boobage, they're prone to bludgeoning damage or any kind of damage. And there's like a minus two on any saving throw. <laughs> they get hit, I'm probably gonna have disadvantage and uh, be in pain, honestly. And it's been weird. It's weird, like brushing up against a wall, even, has been painful. Another thing is my booty does not feel like my booty. My cheeks, face cheeks, not my booty cheeks. Uh, it's also kind of felt different. I, my skin's way nicer. My hair's nicer. Uh, I'm oftentimes like kind of flushed a little bit. So that's been fun. <laughs> I'm often rosy. People think I'm just wearing makeup. Specifically one of my Twitch friends. I'm not. I'm gorgeous. I'm natural. <laughs> so that's that for physical so far. Comet says my eyes have life to them, which is really sweet. Uh, <laughs> emotionally, I am crying. I'm getting invested in things way more emotionally. Uh, even just like movies or the thoughts of friendship. I was thinking about a friend of mine at work and I started crying because I was like, oh man, she's not even just like my work friend, she's my friend friend. And that got me fucked up. <laughs> that made me cry. I was cooking dinner, tears. So that's been fun. I've been really enjoying getting to access uh, some pretty intense feelings emotionally. <laughs> it's been super cool. Um, I feel in tune with myself um, on that level. I feel really grateful that I get to feel this way and to feel things more heavily. Things used to just be kind of more muted and I think they still kind of are because of trauma, <laughs> but <laughs> the hormones have been knocking me in the dirt a little bit. All right, but mentally, that's the next category, mentally. I've been experiencing Vague hints of physical dysphoria, but not so much. Mostly, I just want to shave my face and I want to be a little more physically passing in, in my facial area. Um, otherwise, eh. The other thing that I felt dysphoric about is primarily my name, which is not something I expected at all. I knew there was going to be a lot of different feelings um, about a lot of my lifestyle with with uh, hormonal changes. I was aware of that for sure, but I wasn't expecting August to become a dysphoric word for me. Cause I chose that. Uh, name when I was really leaning into and identifying with being non-binary. Uh, the uh, gender outlaw, if you will. And I have been calling myself that for years now. Still am. <laughs> Even if I am trying to lean into a particular binary. But yeah, August has been something that has been bothering me a little bit it just doesn't seem right it doesn't seem like it's supposed to follow me into this next era of my life and it's the first time i'm telling out to the public besides like <laughs> saying vaguely on twitter that i don't really like august but i'm sitting in between sadie is number one at the moment number two is ellie and number three is summer So I just wasn't expecting dysphoria with a name that I chose. But, c'est la vie. 
that's the way it be, you know? And I'm, I guess I'm trying to say here too is I'm really grateful that I have the relationship with Comet that I have. Because I have never really felt safe uh, before to especially explore <laughs> this part of myself. I've always felt like I could take and own being non-binary ever since I was like in high school and a little bit before that. But to really explore a part of me that I knew was there that I just wasn't sure about has been liberating and freeing and amazing in, in every sense of the words, those words. Uh, my life has changed a lot since I met Comet and I think it's just getting more co comfortable and feeling like I can really be alive. Where before with me being non-binary, it felt like I was against everything and everything was against me. I care more too, which is weird. I used to not give a shit. <laughs> I'm still pretty unbothered, but like I used to not care about like anything, opinions of people especially, but um, I didn't allow myself to explore this part of myself. And the more I don't feel like I'm in survival mode, the more I get to feel like I can actually live. <laughs> and that's just where I'm at in my life. And so one of those three names, Sadie, Ellie, Summer, you will get to live. And I will get to be my most authentic self. Howdy, hey, they slays and gays. <laughs> I am about three months on estrogen, and there's been something that has been unexpected with it. At least for me personally, I was not expecting it. I haven't ran into much dysphoria whilst on uh, estrogen and my anti-boy pills. Get out of here, boys. I'm just kidding, boys can stay. But I ran into the dysphoria with, with my name lately, which is like a very personal thing that I wanted to somehow try to articulate and talk about for the sake of somebody else might go through this it's bizarre dysphoria because i chose the name august that's a chosen name but lately it has not felt like necessarily correct for me at the moment i think it served its purpose for non-binary august and i'm leaning i'm leaning to a few different names uh and i haven't really chosen one but i will let you know what i do choose when we get there that's kind of the update be well